I, in the book, I describe Karnur uh, as an exceptional normal place. Hmm. So I use that phrase exceptional no normal huh. to say that there are some things that are unique uh, hmm. about this conflict. Hmm. Uh, one, the major thing which is unique, which you just said, that people from both sides are more or less from the same social backgrounds. Yes. Same religious, same caste, you know, class, relatively same backgrounds. I'm talking about the people on the ground who are actually doing the violence or who get accused of it or who suffer it. And uh, as opposed to, you know, other parts of the country or the world where it's like Hindu Muslim, you know, ethnic, ethnic divisions or racial yes. divisions and so on. But while, so this is one of the exceptional things. The other exceptional thing is also how, uh, how violence has been intergenerational. It's been over several decades. Mm -hmm. And at some points it's taken very, you know, very costly and heinous forms. Um, so in that sense, it's exceptional. And at the same time, I talk about this thing of phenomena of exceptional normal, that if an exceptional phenomena can actually make us think about what is, uh, what is happening in many parts of the world. That is something which is much more general. That is something much more widespread. So with Kerala, I mean, uh, with, with Kanur itself, what I would say is that what it allows us to see is how, in spite of the fact that people are not, don't have these religious enmities or ethnic enmities and so on, in spite of the fact, this kind of a, a, the process of homogenization and polarization, Hmm. Unity and you know division. divisive division. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, that that process is so integral to how politics is happening that hmm. even in a situation where people are not necessarily divided along ethnic or religious lines, that hmm. those identities are not politicized. Hmm. That political process produces divided hmm. identities. Hmm. Hmm. And people get divided, you know, almost in, in some ways. Uh, also, we mustn't forget that violence itself produces its own force. Hmm. So people get, once a once sort of cycle of violence starts, uh, people themselves get more bound to each other for the sake of support, yes. for, and then uh, questions of retribution. So those com communities, violence itself sort of produces communities. Uh, and it becomes a, a, a long ongoing cycle, cycle, which we've seen in many parts of the world and we've seen here as well. Mm -hmm. uh, in many in other parts of the world, their identities as Tukuyu or Luo or Tamil or Sinhala mm -hmm. or Hindu or Muslim were getting mobilized. Here you found that uh, identities across party lines were getting mobilized. But mm -hmm. at some level or the other, what was happening was this competitiveness, mm -hmm. uh, which was fueling that and competition for electoral and popular power.